Hey, your friendly neighborhood geek here doing another action figure um, review. This time on a favorite figure in my collection. I was super excited when this figure was announced. Um, this is a figure I could not part ways with. Hopefully one day I never have to sell this figure. Unless they come out with like a better version. You know, maybe I will sell it. But um, yeah, we are talking about um, Mofex. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Peter B. Parker. Yes, I love this figure a lot. This is a very fun toy, um, or the box says this is not a toy, but the company is called, um, what is the company called? Oh, Metacom Toy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so originally, um, also really quick, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, as of this recording, I'm recording on Christmas Eve, um, excuse me, so I don't know, this upload may go up in like the next couple days, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after Christmas, probably, um, but yeah, just want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, hope you all have, you know, a good holiday, good Christmas, whatever you celebrate, whatever you decide to do, hope you have a good one, um, so yeah, back to the figure, uh, so like I said, I originally, I had the Moffex Miles and the Moffex Gwen. I think I got all my figures from Big, Big Bad Toy Store, so I recommend. Um, they are kind of pricey, but if you have the, the extra funds and you're interested, I recommend you go to their store. I'm pretty sure they're having a sale right now. Um, I can't remember. In total, I mean, for all three figures, I probably paid like two, a little over $200 for all of them, because all of them were like worth 100 you know, we're going for like a hundred something dollars, you know, retail price. Um, I, excuse me, I sold Miles and Gwen a couple months ago for a good deal. Um, I feel kind of bad. I really do. I kind of miss that Miles. That was a really nice toy, but he was a little too like scrawny skinny. In my opinion, like the clothes, the clothes he had on bulked him up. But if you remove the clothes and just had his, you know, spider suit, he looked very skinny and scrawny. Um, the, one of the reasons I sold those figures was because A, needed the money, and B, <laughs> um, SH Figure Arts came out with Across the Spider-Verse Miles and Gwen, um, you know, with their up, updated looks and the the uh, proportions, like the, the figure's proportions were better, you know, quality in my opinion, just looked a lot nicer. Um, so eventually down the road, so many it's, it's like we're experiencing spider mania there's so many figures from you know the no way home toy line marvel legends and figure arts and you know we got across the spider verse toys and you know so many spider-man action figures you know the regular comic book style spider-man um figure lines or retro figure lines whatever like so we're getting so many spider-man figures and characters it's crazy um like i said so eventually i'll get the figure arts um, across the Spider-Verse, Gwen and Miles, and I don't know how, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know how well they'll scale with my Moffex Peter B. Parker, but hopefully, you know, I'll have all three of them displayed at some point. Um, so originally, I was just going to put this guy back in storage. Um, I'll show you guys the packaging real quick. I was going to put him back in storage, but after messing with him and, you know, t taking the parts off and stuff like that, it kind of ignited my love for this figure. The reason why I didn't um, do a review on it when I got it, I think I did do a review on Gwen, and I, I you know, I showed Gwen, Miles, and Peter all together, um, because of how many accessories um, these figures had it was kind of overwhelming, um, so I didn't, uh, I was just kind of put off from doing like a proper review, like I did an unboxing, but I didn't do a review, uh, but now I decided to, yeah, go ahead and do a review, why not, I never reviewed this figure, um, you see in the box, we have squinting eyes, a regular base Spider-Man head and neck, Peter with the mask like halfway pulled up over his head, and we have the mask where he could hold it. Um, he comes with a slice of pizza, which is what I used to display him with. Um, he comes with fist. I don't, yeah, I think you can maybe see them like the web foot pans. Some clenching or grabbing hands, some other um, grabbing hands. 
And then he has some web holding hands where he's like, if he's swinging, he's holding the web. <laughs> Excuse me. And then he has some open palm hands like this. And he has another set of open palm hands that have magnets on them. Yes, another cool feature about the about um, the Moffex Spider-Man figures, they had magnet hands and magnet feet. Um, I never, I did utilize the magnet feet on mine when I had them displayed in my closet. But um, yeah, it's a really cool feature. Another thing I liked about these figures, again, you're really getting your money's worth. You know what? These are worth a hundred dollars. All the accessories, the cloth you know, accessories, soft goods, um, all the display options, you know, you just have so much variety of, you know, display and playability and posability with these figures. So even if that's not your thing, um, I like that it's an, I like that it's an option, um, you know, as a collector, it's an option, you know, to have all these accessories and all that good stuff. Um, he also came with a display stand which is what I um, have been displaying him with on my computer desk. Um, I will do a size comparison um, towards the end. Um, unfortunately, with my figure, um, real quick, <laughs> just rambling, you see uh, he has, here's a image of him with his sweatpants and bare feet with the pizza, and that's really funny, really cool. And here is the side, which is really nice. The art on the box looks really, really good. Um, and then here's the bottom. Just a lot of writing. And then here's the back. You know, I, I really, I really like this pose. He kind of has a gut. And you see, you know. Um, so like I said, the, the regular Spider-Man head, the squinting eyes, the half mask head, the maskless head, um, you see the back of him, and you see a lot of these accessories, all these webs, the coffee holding hand, um, yeah, so I will show him in his full-on Spider-Man look as we go on, um, so like I said, so with mine, I was saying the, the issue of mine, originally when I got this figure, this hand where he's holding the coffee, um, it would not, I guess the hole was, the way it was molded, sculpted, it was too small to fit on the peg. And since the figure only comes with one set of, you know, um, pegs to plug the hands in, if it broke, um, that would be a lot, that would, that would be a lot, you know, that would suck. You would, you know, have to contact the manufacturer or the, wherever you got the toy. And I've heard, you know, I heard it happen to some people and, and they were able to get a replacement, but since this figure is like two years old uh, or a year old, I don't know if I could do that now. <laughs> so um, instead of trying to force it, I got a little screwdriver and I kind of tore away some of the plastic inside the hole and then kind of widen, you know, kind of widen the hole a little bit. And luckily I got it to work. Um, I, I, at first I really didn't want to do that. Like I really didn't want to modify this figure in any way because of, you know, how expensive it is and how high quality, but it, my method worked luckily. And yeah, and I, I can display him with all his, you know, all his, um, accessories. Um, let's see. So like I said, I really like the hobo look. I thought about getting like a scarf and a, um, skull cap, a beanie. And putting it on him to give him the full hobo look. I think that would be hilarious. Um, so I do plan uh, to do that at some point. So, <clears throat> so here he is. Pull the jacket back. Um, the jacket has bendy, bendy wire in it. So, so if you wanted, um, you could... You know, display him. I've seen some people display him like this, like he's on a he's on a rooftop or something, um, which is really cool. Or you know, if he has the flip hands, you could have him with this look swinging, <laughs> you know, swinging, looking like a hobo. Um, that's really really cool. I, I again, I love you know the, the posability options with this guy. Um, like I said, this is a really nice pose. At first, and I wasn't the only one, I wasn't too fond of like him wearing a sneaker and him wearing a boot. 
I, I kind of didn't like that at first, but as over time, as I've seen um, Into the Spider-Verse a lot at this point, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this look has grown on me to the point that I would actually like to cosplay this look one day. Um, you know, so that would be really cool. But yeah, like I said, this, this look has grown on me. Um, kind of like what I've, when I've um, talked about my evasion mode, Optimus Prime. Um, yeah, I always got to throw in a Transformer reference. Like, it represents a version of Peter we've never really seen before, or at least a version of him we've never seen on screen. You know, like, he's, he's down on his luck. You know, he, he was going through a divorce. You know, he was broke. He, he, you know, he, uh, what's the word? He, he started a business that didn't go, that didn't get off the ground, that, you know, didn't end well. Um, you know, he was depressed. You know, Aunt May was, had passed. And, of course, Uncle Ben was gone. And he really didn't have anybody. And, you know, like, he was just down on his, he was just down on his luck. And he let him, he kind of let himself go. And, like, we never, we've never really seen this version of Peter at his lowest, at least on a movie, in a movie format. So, and like I said, to get this kind of representation of, of the character, I think it was really cool, you know, looking back. And of course, spoilers for Across the Spider-Verse, he's a dad now, which he has been a dad in, you know, in the comics before, like different universes and stuff like that, different writers. Um, Mayday, who is Spider-Girl, um, she has her own comic, like, you know, it was maybe like early 2000s. I, if you're interested, I, I recommend it. I myself am going to check it out at some point. Sorry, a little sniffly. Um, I'm just getting over a uh, sore throat. So, yeah, but I've been feeling better. Um, so, like I said, Mayday. Um, hopefully, she'll get an updated figure, you know, one day. Because she has a really cool, you know, design and um, all that good stuff. So, yeah, like I said, so in the in Across the Spider-Verse, him... Um, Let's go ahead and have him change into his spider outfit. Him and uh, Mary Jane patched things up. And yeah, they got back together and they had May Day. So that was really cool. Um, so we really didn't get an updated figure for him for the new for the new movie. Um, here's the inside of the box. It was just supposed to be like a city background, I guess. Skyline. Really cool. Um... I think I think I showed the display stand. Yeah, I showed the, the display stand already. Um, again, you get a display stand. <laughs> you get so many things. So here's the instructions, which I think I've opened up before. I'm not sure. It's fairly easy, especially if you watch other people. If you watch a review for this, you know how to open everything. Um, so yeah, here he is. Um, here are all the accessories. I think we get like nine sets of hands or something. Um, wow. So I will show him with the... Oh, well, luckily everything didn't fall out, fall out of place. Uh, I will show him with the... Uh, actually, let's see if I can... I don't know if this hand can hold it. It might. Okay, it can. He might be able to put it in his pocket, too, actually. Um, so, this hand can hold the mask, which is really nice. Um, cool. They can hold the mask. I like that. I like when, when these figures come with, you know, the mask. They can hold it. I think Miles, I'm not, I don't think Gwen, I don't, I'm not, I don't think she had one, but Miles had one, too, I believe. And the, um, the, um, Hmm. Some material on the on the packaging, um, the miles and the uh, figure arts. Um, Tobey Maguire Spider Man from No Way Home also came with the where he could hold the mask. That was really cool. Um, so first we want to unplug. Yeah, unplug the uh, hands. But like I said, I had to widen the hole. Um, let's see, and have widened the hole, 
And let's let's remove the hands, which are fairly easy. And you remove the jacket. Again, fairly easy. Like I said, just so much fun. Um, so like I said, here's the jacket by itself. Try not to. I, I was trying not to get it wrinkled, but yeah, this lady. I was trying not to get it wrinkled. Ooh, maybe I could fix that at some point. Um, so my history. Here he is without the jacket. <laughs> my history with um, Spider Man. Oh boy. Um, I think I have like a, I have an encyclopedia, a Spider-Man encyclopedia I got one Christmas, um, some years ago. Um, here are the shoes. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I grew up with the Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man 1 and 2, I saw like religiously as a kid. I grew up with Spectacular Spider-Man, I grew up with the 90s show, I'm um, in the 2000s. <clears throat> Um, you know, uh, Spider-Man was just, you know, a big part of my childhood. Um, it's actually the first time I am plugging the feet to the figure. So, be careful. Um, oh. Yeah, okay. Whew. Got the feet plugged in. The same thing over here. Um, so yeah, I mean, Spider-Man's just been a big part of my childhood. Um, I saw Amazing Spider-Man 1 in theaters with my family. Um, I was kind of like, you know, as a kid, I was like, man, no one could replace the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. But as time has gone on, I'm like, oh, you know... Um, those were good movies. Yeah, they were. Um, Andrew, interesting fact. Um, when Tobey Maguire got the role for Spider-Man, um, he, he wasn't, like, outside of, I guess, just being familiar with the character, he wasn't really knowledgeable um, about the character. And... Andrew Garfield was the opposite. Andrew was, like, Spider-Man was Andrew's favorite superhero growing up. So he, you know, read a lot of the comics. So he was more, um, you know, more knowledgeable about the character than Toby was. I always thought that was really interesting. Um, let's see. Pop the head off. For the most part, it's fairly easy to pop these pieces off. I think the neck, in my opinion, is kind of, like, the hardest to do. In my opinion. The neck is not easy to pop off. And I would hate to cut this and have to come back because <laughs> Oh, like I almost yep. Got it. So I have to be careful. The neck. Yeah, I got it. So I have to be careful with the neck, the neck piece. Um, with this figure. And let's see. Oh, oh, there we go. I said, try not to be too rough, but, um, let's see, I'm never, I gotta figure out how to get to the, okay, so I remove the hands from the tray, like this, remove the hands from the tray, and I can get to the webs. I've never, I've never displayed him like this. Like I said, I just straight up just, um, like I said, put him in the spider suit, and that was the end of it.
<laughs> so, you know, some of these pieces are, are being put onto the figure for the first time. Okay. So here's one of the webs. You plug it on like that. And... Well, <laughs> I hope these hands don't have the same issue. Okay, yeah, don't have the same issue as the, uh... or maybe it was, was it like this? Okay, maybe it was like this. All right, um, Let's see, I'll plug in one of the open palm hands. I'm not going to show the magnet because I don't have anything to... Um, I don't have anything to... Uh, well, you get an idea. <laughs> I don't have anything to stick stick him onto. Uh, let's see. See me struggle to plug these hands onto this Spider-Man figure. Um, oh boy. Yeah, I might have the same issue with some of these other hands because this is. Oh, we almost got it. Yeah, it's going. Barely. <laughs> Barely. Um, like I say, it really should have came with maybe like two of these pegs because, yeah, I can see that over time maybe possibly becoming an issue those pegs could possibly start to wear so here's a pose here's a pose of him um, with sweatpants and bare feet shooting a web so cool again I really like that like I said I, I really didn't like I just filled it with them and Yeah, I just fit, fiddled with them, and that was kind of the end of it. So here's another one with the web. Cool. I dig that. Um, so lastly, <laughs> I will show him with, I know, kind of a, kind of a half, review because I'm not showing him with all the accessories on but you gotta pull yeah pull the legs off <laughs> um, so kind of see his full spider-man body he kind of has the gut going on you can kind of see it a little bit and then on the back we have marble so, yeah. <laughs> um, sweatpants by themselves. And I didn't remove the magnet feet from mine, but there you go. Um, you can see them on, on the actual figure. So, let's see him with his... Let's see him with his uh, angry face, and maybe you know, see him with his fist. Um, yeah, the fists are easy to put on, so. But um, yeah, like I said, I love Spider-Man. 
one of my favorite superheroes. Um, I really saw across the Spider-Verse in theaters with my brother, younger brother, and my dad. Um, really enjoyed it. Thought it was, you know, yeah, thought it was really good. Thought it was a solid follow-up from the first movie. Um, and then, of course, some months after it came out and everybody saw it and everybody said how good it was, people were saying there were issues with it. Everybody complains about everything. So. Um. So, here he is with his, uh, <laughs> fist, his angry face. Um, again, cool. I like the squinty eyes. It would have been cool if he came with, like, a spider sense accessory. So that's kind of a bummer. But, you know, it's not that big of a deal. And lastly, because I never, I never did display him with his head like this. Here he is with, oh, with his, uh, here he is with his, uh, halfway head. So, yeah. Um, I guess you want to see him with the display stand. Here he is with the display stand. So, yeah, and I never noticed this, but on the back, the head, you can see some of his hair. So that's really cool. Excuse me. And size comparison of my custom... Usagi Yojimpo. Uh, they're around the same height. So, I mean, he's a 1 12th scale figure. Um, yeah, so, final thoughts. Outside of, you know, the, the hands kind of being a little bit of a challenge to get onto the peg. Very fun figure. I like him a lot. Um... Highly recommend them. Like, I saw this figure. I don't know if it was an auction. I don't know if it was buy it now. On eBay, I saw this figure going for like $260. Wow. Um, don't pay that much. Uh, but, of course, a character like this or, or a figure like this, you would have had to have gotten it when it came out like I did. But I'm sure you can still find it for a good deal. Um, I was trying to say earlier... We really didn't get an updated figure of Peter B. We did get a Marvel Legends um, Peter B. Parker in Into the Spider-Verse. And for Across the Spider-Verse, they just went the lazy route and just re-released the figure. But he just had his sweatpants and his bare feet. Um, it's kind of, a, kind of a bummer. Um, they did make a 1-6 scale uh, Across the Spider-Verse Peter B. Parker with his um, pink robe and his... Uh, baby jumper, whatever you call it. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but, like I said, there's there's hundreds of Spider-Man figures. So if this isn't one you're really in, really wanting to get, you got you know you have a variety. And then, like I said, there's still the Marvel Legend one. Um, but I do highly recommend this figure. Just you know, be careful messing with it. Don't be you know rough or anything. Um, I think it's still kind of fragile in some areas. But, um, yeah, um, this is it, this is it for the review, uh, <laughs> um, next review, I don't know, like I said, I might try to get like a minifigure or something, something inexpensive, and I'll do a review on that, um, I'll keep you guys updated on Air Force situation, um, I said probably the first week of January, I'm getting in contact with the recruiter, hopefully that goes well. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'll continue to update you guys, but, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Peace, you guys.